Harmony is a parameter, just like figure. You'll find it in every container. It sets the rules for all instruments, although each instrument interprets them differently. Like many other parameters, Harmony supports templates that you can save and recall. This is convenient if you want to test how a new arrangement responds to different Harmony. The Harmony parameter holds a progression of harmonic contexts. Each context consists of a chord, a bass note, two scales and the key. Beginners can focus on the chord only and let Sinfire figure out the rest. You can drop progressions from a library. This also works the other way around. Drag any Harmony outlet to a library to put a progression aside for later. You can even do that with partial selections. On the progression page, chords are broken down into rows according to the current scheme. You can alter this scheme to match your song's verse metrics. This is the chord selection tool. Navigate the progression with the arrow keys. Extend selections with the shift key. Cut and paste with the keyboard. Move a selection with the mouse. Hold the Alt key to make a copy. Hold the Command key to insert a selection in between. Resize chords. Over time, all this editing will become second nature. This is a placeholder for the Harmony outlet of the current container. On the Parameter Inspector, you can input one or more chords separated by spaces. If you are unsure how a chord is written, pick an extension from this menu. Enable instant audio feedback. Use these arrows to alter the bass. Hold Shift and Alt for chromatic intervals. Hold Command to reset to automatic. There are many settings you can make for each harmonic context. Open the Help browser to learn about them in detail. For now, we'll focus on the chord, vertical scale and key. On the View menu, you can select which details you want to see in the progression view. All edit commands are listed on the Transform menu. The clickboard offers convenient shortcuts for some. If you want to change the key of an entire progression, simply transpose it. To change the key somewhere in the middle, select two or more chords and press the estimate button. The key is applied to the selected chords. You should always use the estimate button on the entire progression at least once, 
to make sure you don't have too many key changes that don't make sense. Remember, if nothing is selected, all commands apply to the entire parameter. You can suggest a default chord inversion and voicing. Individual figure segments may override this if the interpretation parameter allows. The chord actually played by an instrument also depends on its playing ranges. The cool thing with harmony is, every change you make immediately recomposes your arrangement. You can check the outcome in an instant. On the palette page, you can navigate the circle of fifths. Select a key and play its chords. Drag chords to the harmony lane to alter the progression of the current container. There are many different palette layouts and colorings you can choose from. You can even build your own palettes. I will explain the palette in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.